wings. I don't have wings. Of course not. You're a boy. What's up guys, I'm Deep Cut, your YouTube, and this is Cartoon Universe. Or is it? That's right, this week we are Puppet Universe because we are going to be talking about the upcoming show, The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, a puppet-based miniseries coming to Netflix on August 30th. The show is a prequel to the 1982 classic film The Dark Crystal, a dark fantasy movie for kids that explores the strange world of Thra. For all of you normies out there who haven't seen it, go watch it right now. Seriously, it's amazing. And for those who have, here's a little recap of what went down. The story follows a Gelfling named Jen, who is sent on a quest by a race of mystics to find the Dark Crystal and heal the Land of Thra. Gelflings are basically this world's equivalent of elves or hobbits, something vaguely human but also magical. Unfortunately for Jen, the Dark Crystal is being guarded by another race, the evil Skeksis. Jen is believed to be the last of the Gelflings, who were all killed by the Skeksis because of a prophecy saying that the Gelflings would heal the crystal and end their reign. Once they find out that Jen, a Gelfling, is still alive, they start trying to hunt him down. Along the way, Jen meets Kira, a lady Gelfling, who also believed that she was the last of her species. The two work together to travel the world of Thra, heal the crystal, and watch as the mystics and the Skeksis fuse together and become higher dimensional beings. We learn that these higher dimensional beings accidentally split their good sides, the mystics, and their dark sides, the Skeksis, when the crystal broke during the last great alignment of the three suns. These higher dimension beings use the crystal to return to their higher dimension, and Kira and Jen are left to repopulate the world of Thra, which has returned to being a place of beauty rather than darkness. Pretty awesome, right? Well, for those of you wondering what happens next, this show will not actually be helpful. Instead, The Age of Resistance will be a prequel to the movie, expanding on the world before the events of the film. It will follow three different Gelflings who uncover the dark secret of the Skeksis and then work together to start a rebellion to end the Skeksis' reign. It's a bit of a scary story for them to go into, because as I mentioned earlier, in the original film, it opens by revealing that all of the Gelflings were killed by the Skeksis, so there isn't a lot of ways for the Age of Resistance to end, unfortunately. What we will see will likely be a very tragic tale leading up to the near extinction of the entire species. I imagine the journey the characters go on will be a little bit like Star Wars Rogue One, where in the end they have to accept their fate for the greater good. And what a journey it will be! In the trailer that dropped last week, we can see that there is a big plan for this story. Like the original, there will be no CGI used for the characters, and the show will instead focus entirely on puppetry. The backgrounds and some things like this vehicle will have some 3D animation involved, but the actual characters and seemingly all of the creatures themselves will be done using puppets. Considering how epic the action looks, it explains why it took so long for them to produce this show after it was first announced. The story opens with one of the Gelfling girls exploring the Caves of Thra, where a sentient-seeming plant communicates with her and reveals that Thra itself is in danger. In the show itself, I am pretty sure they will explain that it isn't a single plant or entity that is talking to her, but rather the world of Thra itself, which has been described as being somewhat sentient in the expanded materials, with several aspects of itself on the surface. The transfer of information may be where the prophecy of the Gelflings ending the reign of the Skeksis comes from. She and several other Gelflings uncover the plot of the Skeksis and must start a Gelfling rebellion to end their reign. I think a large part of the series might deal with the various Gelfling tribes and races trying to overcome their differences in this regard. There will also be them trying to just convince the actual Gelflings that the Skeksis are a problem. The Skeksis were originally pretty decent rulers, so it seems that a lot of the Gelflings won't want to believe that they have nefarious plans either. Early on, it was considered an honor for a Gelfling to serve as a guard to the Skeksis. One thing I'm really excited about is seeing more of Agra. Those who have seen the movie will remember her as the cranky old lady who lived in the Big Brain Observatory guarding the Dark Crystal Shard. 
She's a wise mentor type with an attitude and was one of my favorite characters in the original film. In expanded lore, it's revealed that she is actually an extension of the planet Thra itself, a way for the consciousness of the planet to see itself and understand itself. There is a lot of potential for her as a character, and I hope they make her someone who really has a journey as opposed to just keeping her around as some sort of plot device to explain the history of the world. In the expanded material, she is a son, and the two seem to have left the relationship in a bad place when they disagreed on whether or not the higher beings were a threat to the Land of Thra, and he hasn't been seen ever since. It would be great to have that play in here, maybe some flashbacks showing everything that happened and her regret over losing her son. It'd also be really interesting to see her have some sort of emotional journey in dealing with being a sort of extension of the planet itself. One thing I find very interesting is that we don't see any of the mystics in this trailer. The Skeksis and the mystics are just different halves of one another. If a mystic dies, so does the Skeksis counterpart. And if a Skeksis dies, so does a mystic. So the two seem to keep their distance to prevent a mutually assured destruction. The trailer is only two minutes, so we couldn't see everything that the show is going to offer, but I do hope that the mystics appear, especially for more than just like a few minutes at the end. As of now, we don't know if this is going to be just one mini-series, or possibly a longer series with multiple seasons. It is based off of the books, which are a prequel to the movie, and there are three of them in that series, so it's possible that we could get up to at least three seasons here. However, they might have condensed that plot for the sake of making sure they tell their entire story. I personally would love more seasons, but honestly, I'd rather see them jump around in the timeline even more. I want to see them flash back to the very beginning of the world, I want to see a sequel to the actual movie, I just want this world to expand in every way possible. So it's really important to me to see this show succeed. Hopefully you guys will watch it too. If you've seen the trailer, go ahead and tell me what you thought of it down in the comments, and if you liked the movie, tell me what your favorite part of it was. I am obsessed with that movie and I cannot wait to see more from this universe.